All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So, this is my review slash opinion for the 2023 modern war for, uh, film called War Horse 1. It is, as far as I can tell, and the, by the look of it, is an independent small budget film. Now, here's the plot. A gunned down Navy SEAL Master Chief must guide a child to safety through a gauntlet of hostile Taliban insurgents and survive the brutal Afghanistan wilderness. Here is some of the cast. The trailer definitely didn't do this independent film any favors. Great camera work, work for the most part, um, and the acting was fantastic along with the main lead including his movements at least as far as I can tell and know. As I'm not military so I don't know. Um, but as far as I could tell it looks pretty good. Um, there was this really cool editing when he was dazed they took the same footage and layered it over it up to three layers and made some of the layers slightly slower than the others. Now I will say there was some issues in editing. Not talking about the bad CGI as I figured there would be with these type of films which is doable for me personally to a degree. But the sound mixing between the score and vocal dialogue was hard to hear in places because of how loud the score was. wasn't every scene wasn't in every scene, but still, a su I suggest you put on subtitles when watching this. Another thing is it, in the editing with them a fast forwarding speed that was way too fast and looked ridiculous. I personally didn't like how he was teaching the little girl how to kill. You would think he would ha want her to stay away from this uh, horrible world. Normally, that's usually what it is because that's more realistic. But, I, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know. It just seemed a little bit off, and it kind of how he was going about it, how, talking to her, did it seem realistic. So, um, I mean, I know they're in the middle of, of war zone and stuff, and he has to keep her safe and real best but she's a little girl this is how he far he went with it it's just kind of it just it was just off to me the little actor was clearly young and new to the acting game as outside of the straight face the whole time was she was uh phoning it in 100 percent of the film which makes sense for someone that looks like she's seven or eight i mean i could be wrong she could be 10 for all i know but still that's pretty young and it seems like, from what I could tell of in, uh, looking her up, there was no pictures, there's no, um, really nothing about her, um, other than maybe some Sinatra and stuff. They added this visual layer effects and score to compensate for her lack of acting. Personally, it would have been such a good film if you could hear all the dialogue better. That's my biggest issue with this. Again, it was muffled most of the time. But here's my right now come out my fault thoughts. The film was impressive in spots. The story was good even though it felt too long. But the editing needed work, especially with the sound. But what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So, I don't know what I'll have out next. I haven't really thought about it. I honestly wasn't going to do a review, uh, review today, but someone reminded me that of a film that I completely, completely forgot about I was going to do. So I did it today, and, um, you know, it's just one thing to check off my list that I'm glad I saw. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world, but definitely has potential for the director uh, in the future to work on the editing especially especially with the sound so that's just my personal opinion but uh, i do recommend it uh with subtitles um but yeah remember i love you all please stay safe and skull